standing in hate of someone is like drinking a poison and hoping they'll die. Because that molecule lands in your cellular structure and replicates itself and produces stresses on your system that if you don't deal with them will kill you. That's what Jesus was teaching 2,000 years ago. He was teaching people how to take charge of their own physiology. Now, when you start to take charge of that process, what you'll see is that the strongest resonating energy is what produces the result in the system. How is it? We've all heard of the fellow who went to the doctor, had a totally clean bill of health, and six months later, got sick, they took him into the hospital, did an exploratory, sewed him up, sent him home, said, too filled with cancer, we can't do anything, you're going to die, and three days later he was dead. It's like, wait a minute, how is that possible? Six months ago he was perfectly healthy. What happened? Well, if we go along in life continuously engaging in the disease of negativity, in fear, in hatred, in vengeance, in gossip, in slander, in condemnation, we're continuously putting into our cellular structure the mind energy of that, which is destructive. It literally, in the ancient languages, it was said it defiled our temple. And when we defile our temples, we're in the process of destroying it. And the minute that the, the predominant resonant energy shifts from one to another frequency, the whole system shifts with it. Let's, how many of, uh, let's say, you drive the same route to the office every morning, and you're listening on your stereo, on your, uh, your uh, car stereo, to this nice, quiet FM music. You're rolling along, and the same corner Every day when you hit that corner, all of a sudden the radio station you're listening to disappears and you've got this rock and roll noise that comes in on top of you. How many have had that experience in your car radio with the FM? Well, the way the FM, or maybe you're listening to your rock and roll noise and this quiet FM music comes in, whatever. <laughs> but what happens when that takes place? Well, the tuned circuitry of an FM radio is set up in a way that only one frequency can govern the system at a time. It's not so in the AM band. You notice you can turn your AM radio on and perhaps two or three stations come in on top of each other at once. You notice that doesn't happen with FM. The circuitry is tuned so that you've got to have a certain percentage of signal strength and that station locks in and runs the whole system. Well, in exactly the same way as if you're driving away from the station you're listening to, and let's say it takes 51% signal strength, if you go from 51 to 50 to 49, and you're driving into the field of a new station, and it goes from 49 to 50 to 51, all of a sudden, it switches stations. If we have the person whose physiology is expressing health, and they continue in the fear mode, or the anger mode, or the hatred mode, when that signal shifts and it moves and becomes the predominant resonant energy, all of a sudden the whole cellular structure starts to shift into disease. That's how someone can bring about a disease process that quickly. And so it's the focused energy. Let thine eye be single. And so if the predominant resonant energy in the system moves from health to disease, we see the system moving into disease. Now how does miracle healing happen? Well, all you have to do is reverse the process. Unfortunately, we're not used to seeing people reverse the process. It's not unusual to hear about Joe or Harry or Bill that had a totally clean bill of health and they're now in this terrible process or this terrible disease has stricken them. Why do we think that to have somebody who has a disease process going on and we hear that they've moved to health all of a sudden is a miracle? It's not miraculous. I mean, it's miraculous in that it happens, but it follows a lawful process that we can understand. 